Hey guys, what's up? This is me, Chanel Chanel. Alright, so today, well, I washed my hair um, a few days ago. So today, I'm basically going to press it out. Just going to press it out today. With my new electric pressing comb. I'm going to see if that works a little bit different than the person calling over the stove. So when I washed it, the only thing I did was put it in uh, individual twisties and plaits. And that's about it. So, yeah. So I'm just combing it out now. So what do you guys, I probably don't want to talk about it, but what do you guys think about um, what Will Smith did? Drop a comment and let me know your guys' thoughts about that one. And if you're not following me on TikTok, follow me on TikTok, y'all. Follow me on TikTok. It's J S H I N E L L. Follow me on TikTok. So. Let me find some hair clips. So yeah, drop a comment. Let me know what y'all thought about that. And what y'all got to say about that. That situation. And incident. I'm going to call it a situation. And incident that happened. Do you guys feel that he actually needed to smack Chris? Do you guys actually feel that he really needed to smack the taste out of Chris' mouth? The taste. And how do you think Jada felt? after that situation. The only thing I don't like about this comb now is that I be pressing the off button when I be trying to hold it. I press the off button. I don't like that. I would like to trim my hair too. From my ends. They're not bad. They're not bad at all. 
wish I was able to go on here live. You guys, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm trying to go live on TikTok. So once I get 1K followers on TikTok, I'll be able to go live on there as well. But with Facebook, you can only go live if, I mean, not Facebook, uh, YouTube, you can only go live if you um, was going live from the computer. So, Will Smith's mother um, says something about the situation. What do you guys take on what she said? I mean, of course, she was shocked. His family was shocked. We were all shocked. But what do you guys think about what she said? What do you guys think about his apology to Chris? If it was to Chris. Do you guys necessarily think that his joke had anything to do with alopecia or his joke actually had something to do with her hair being very low to her scalp? I don't know what y'all think. What y'all thoughts are about it. Person comb I got from um, Amazon. Amazon, it goes up to four hundred and fifty. Um, I really like this person comb. It gets the job done. Um, I don't have a relaxer in my hair. I have natural hair, and I think I just pushed the button. Uh, I said, I, just, I think I just pushed the button to even cut it off. So the thing that I like about the electric pressing comb, hot comb, whatever you want to call it, is that it's on one temperature throughout the whole hair process. So when you hot comb in your hair, you're not going to have different sections in your hair. Uh, one part is thin or the other part is thick because you may have pressed it, uh, took it off the stove and uh, left it on there a little hotter than you normally do, which is gonna get certain section of your hair pressed out straighter than if you left the hot comb on the stove 
lesser time than you did the previous time. You get what I mean? So, I love it. Love it. So, my son, I have, um, my boys don't approve of what Will Smith did. Okay. They don't approve of it. Um, Will Smith pretty much did something a bully would do. That's how I look at it. You don't put your hands on nobody, especially if they can put your hands on their hands on you. You know, there's other ways that you can work out a situation after the fact. Because at the end of the day, you was at a business event. That's how I look at it. You can still defend your wife. Or your husband. But do it a different way. And if that person continue to keep on disrespecting you. Handle your business. After the event. After the event. You know. Talk about it. And if it goes too far. And do your business. Do what you gotta do. Because I myself don't take disrespect. But I'm not gonna put my hands on nobody. Unless they put their hands on me. Okay. So. What if. You know. Chris Rock was a Tupac. Was a. You know. Thug life. Thug now. Thug now artist. Do you think Will Smith will put his hands on him then? Comment. Let me know y'all answer. Yes or no. Let me know. Let me know. Because Will Smith actually looked back to see what Chris was going to do. After the fact, Will smacked him. Chris was like, wow, Will Smith just smacked my ass. But, guys, I truly feel that um, Chris controlled himself because he actually wanted to do something. <laughs> but he controlled himself throughout that whole situation. After the fact, he got smacked. He controlled himself. Very well, you ask me. Very well. He controlled himself very well. This is pretty nice. Yep. Very well. But did I actually watch it? I don't watch the Grammys. Um, I haven't watched them in decades. <laughs> in a decade, let's just say that. But um, yeah, <laughs> that was an interesting uh, moment. It wasn't scripted, but 
I know for a fact they're going to uh, punish Will for that. They're going to punish him. Do I think they should take his uh, award away from him? He deserved that award. He worked hard for it. So, what they should do is not allow him to, to attend another ceremony. Even if he win the next award, it has to be mailed to him. Yep. Because apparently you have an issue and you will do it again because you don't know how to, you know what I'm saying, keep your hands off of people. You don't do nothing like that. So, unless Jada be there to accept his award, so he messed it up for himself and his family to be there to support his wife in that matter. Because next time, if somebody wants to talk about her, well, not because he didn't really, it was, again, it was a joke. So... He mentioned her in the joke. He ain't say he was talking about her like, you know what I'm saying, in a bad way. How people will be saying, yo, so-and-so talking about you. You know what I'm saying, in a negative way. It was a joke. And she knew that. It was like, okay. Her look was like, okay, here we go again with the jokes. You know what I'm saying? Will Smith found it funny. He was laughing through that whole situation until he looked over there at his wife. And when he seen her back, he has changed. His vibe changed too. He really didn't want to go up there and do that to Chris. I know he didn't want to. But he didn't smack Chris hard enough to make his ass fall, make him fall, excuse my language, to make him fall. <laughs> so that was a weak smack. Very weak. But anyhow, like I was saying, my son, 25, and that's how I learned about it. My son sent a group text, and <clears throat> he spoke about it. So he was like, man, I used to look up to Will Smith, you know? He looked up to Squirrel Smith until this situation happened. And I'm sure a lot of people looked up to Will until that situation happened. Do I think Chris Rock shouldn't have said what he said? Well, like I stated before, it was a joke. Will even looked at it as a joke. Jada knew it was a joke too. But the joke was on her. So it was like, all right, here we go again with the jokes. You know what I'm saying? It was like one of those situations. You know how us women are. Uh, roll your eyes. Here we go again. You know what I'm saying? So... That's how that was. I'm sure of that. I need to trim my... I'm going to trim my ends, too. I'm going to trim my ends. They're not bad or anything, but they just need a little trimming. Just a little trimming. Since I straightened out my hair real good. So I can 
trim it up really good. So I like when my hair is trimmed, I mean, <laughs> pressed out like that. I like it. Y'all know I can normally, really, I can normally get my, <laughs> but this is, I like this. I like this. This is straight. This is straight. I almost feel like I have a um, relaxer, but I don't. So. You know, and some of us have alopecia, but again, that joke had nothing to do with alopecia, you know, had nothing to do with that. It had nothing to do with hair loss. It had nothing to do with that. It had nothing to do with her medical condition, you know, that joke had nothing to do with that. I know that for a fact. Some of you guys, you know, everybody's opinions is different. Everybody's opinion is different. But, and guess what? I could be one of those people suffering from alopecia. Never thought about that happening. Especially some of you guys, you'll be like, oh, well, your edges. You know, and you're thinning in certain spots, you know. I'm sure you've watched my videos. I know you watch my videos, so. That's my take on it. That's my take on it. So I'm going to trim my hair too. So I'm going to trim it. 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 Hold on. Because I got it. I got it straight the way I want it to be straight. So I'm going to trim it. I'm going to trim it so. But let me do the other side. So yeah, leave me a comment. Let's talk about this. Let's talk, y'all. Let's talk about this. While you guys is watching the video, let's talk about this. Let's talk about this situation. Um, you know, that red tabletop opened up a lot of um, a lot of A lot of talk about that that uh, family, you know. A lot of talk, you know. Cause Jada wanna, you know, get things off her chest to the public, to the world. I mean, like, I guess. What do she not have girlfriends to talk to, or you know, what she felt that she need to discuss her family, personal life with the world um like you know I, <laughs> I don't understand because it's like getting on social media you know what I'm saying I mean television is social media and it's like you're lonely or, or something or uh, you know when you're lonely you don't have anybody to talk to you go to social media and not necessarily to hear other people's inputs or how they feel or what they think about the situation. You just want to share some stuff. Because maybe other people's going through the same situation. Majority of the time, folks are going through the same situation. 
you know. But that pup, that uh, table talk, open up a lot of things for people to say about her, them, you know, marriage, like she said. Their marriage is based off of team and not out of, you know, they love one another, but it's not out of no, they didn't get together because, or not stand together because of love. You know, it's financial support. Let's just say that. Financial support or um, like-minded, like like st lifestyle situations that they have been through. You know, you guys remember her and Tupac was together and he was the love of her life. You know, and she want a, a Tupac. But, you know, there's nobody in the acting career that's another Tupac. So, she's sticking to her marriage. She's sticking to her marriage. But, you know, it's not the average, you know, marriage. It's, you know, two people that are business partners and it's not you know a, a, a couple like a couple's relationship a couple marriage you know can't say they co just co-parenting because the children is grown so and just imagine like how long are they gonna live like that miserable they're basically miserable. I mean, like, you gotta be miserable. You really do, living like that. Well, unless you're okay with it, you're fine with it. But the older you get, you, I don't think you wanna live like that. Like I said, they stay waiting for somebody to come along, like another Tupac. Let's see, I keep on. Um, I wonder what my twin has to say about it. <laughs> I wonder what my brothers have to say about that. Heard what my boys had to say. The only time my boys feel like they need to fight is if, you know, you, you put your hands on them. Um, somebody put their hands on them. Only time I have, I feel like I need to defend myself is when you and you, you in my bubble. You don't get in my face. It's one thing you're not going to do, and I'm not going to allow you to do. You're going to have to get out my face. I'm going to tell you, get out my face before I do anything to you. I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to do to you. I'm not going to tell you what's going to happen. You just need to get up out my face. I'm just going to tell you that. And I'm gonna tell you that probably once or twice. And then we're gonna take it from there. Because you should not be in nobody's face like that, acting like you wanna fight. The only time you want somebody's face like that is if you want to fight. So, okay. Apparently, you wanna fight. Ooh, just imagine y'all it would have been a black on black fight if uh if uh chris 
was a total different Chris. <laughs> Man. Chris was a total different Chris. What you think? Leave a comment. What you think? Now, what if it was your guy, your man? What you think he would have did? I don't think my guy would have done anything. He wouldn't have smacked nobody. He wouldn't have put no hands, you know. He don't, he about that life, but he wouldn't have done nothing like that. He would have talked to him about it, but he wouldn't have. But some people feel like, hey, look, I've told you several times. To keep my mouth, my wife's name out your mouth. That's what he just should have said. Know what I'm saying? And handle him later. And and then if he would have kept on, Chris would have kept on. Then you say, all right, you're disrespecting me now. You know what I'm saying? Because Chris loved that family, and he would have knew, you know, that Will was serious with it. Because when Will said two times, keep my wife's name out your mouth. That first time, Chris didn't take it serious. But that second time when Will said it, keep your wife's name out my mouth. That is then when Chris was like, all right, all right, okay. You know? And... Chris left it as that, at that. Jada didn't try to calm him down. Jada didn't even try to stop him from even going up there. Because Jada about that life. That's what she liked. That's what she like. And we'll know that. Because in the statement a long time ago, Jada said, if it was Tupac, about a different situation, if it was Tupac, Tupac would have shot him. So Will didn't have a gun. Will couldn't shoot nobody. <laughs> he didn't have a gun. Y'all, I'm not going to say nothing yet, but y'all probably know what I'm going to say about my hair while I'm pressing it out. Because I don't want to jinx myself. But the heat just went off. Still looking good. Looked like it didn't puffed on out, didn't it? But it's still straight. So y'all, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it on this video. I know some of you probably like, whew, tired of people talking about it. But let's talk about it. Let's talk about it, baby.
But yeah, Will Smith definitely is going to have to pay the cost for that. Good thing that Chris don't. <laughs> I know he happy he handled it professionally. But uh, not every man would handle a situation like that, especially after being smacked in public. In public. You know, it's, it's a lot of men let their ego get to them, especially around other people in public situations. And that's exactly what Will did. That's exactly what Will did. Because he couldn't handle that in a better way. And if he wanted to smack Chris, then, hey, go ahead. But not at work. Just imagine if you was working for a company. What? Well, <laughs> And nobody may not want to do business with him. A company may not want to do business with him again because of that. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, this is your career. Just because you self-employed or whatever the case may be. Or, you know, like I say, acting is your career or whatever. But still, other people in that may not want to do business with you. Because hey, they don't want you getting mad at them or smacking them. You know, even other actors, they may not want to be acting acting uh, in, the, in the skit with you because of what you did. So, we'll mess that up for us, sir. You know, the acting off of the... the uh, but acting off of uh, trying to please his wife and trying to be the man that he want, she wants him to be. That protective man that would pop a nigga for her. And when I say pop, I'm talking about shoot. Shooting. Not a smack. Shooting with a gun over her. Because Tupac would. Sure, Tupac probably had. <laughs> but I just know a situation like that has happened. She loved her some Tupac. And believe it or not, that's who she would even, that's who she would be. If Tupac was here right now today, alive, that's who she would be with. She wouldn't be with no Will Smith. She, Will Smith actually came after her. He actually came after her. Matter of fact, my cousin, she has alopecia really bad. I wonder what does she have to say about the situation. I had another cousin too. But again, I, that, that, what he said, that joke had nothing to do with alopecia. You know, it had something to do with an actor, you know, that was in a movie. 
I acted that was in the movie. Jane too, so. Get my scissors. Go ahead and do this trap. Get my scissors. And go ahead and do this trap. Just want to bend down and show you guys something. All right, so let me go get my scissors so I can do this chop. Okay, so. I'm gonna let you guys see it like this. <clears throat> First. <coughs> okay. And that's just the front. See that? Good enough. That's good enough. Good enough for me. He came back up. This little piece over here on the side. 
I don't always press out my hair. I like to press it out just to show you guys how much it has grown. And when I get ready to um, clip my ends. But uh, other than that, I stay away from the heat. That's why my hair looks much more healthier than it has in previous videos, you know. It has in previous videos, so, yeah. <coughs> so I have a lot here that I actually want to take off. a nice clip, you know, just a nice little clip. Just want to straighten all the skins a little bit more. Ooh. I'm trying to get my ear.
Okay, so I am all trimmed up, cut, all that good stuff. Okay. See how this if I um God what I ain't gonna cut all of y'all because it ain't gonna come out right. Oh, yeah. So, this is everything. This is how it looks. As long as I'm going through it very fast, this is perfectly fine. As long as I'm going through this through my on my head very this is perfectly fine. This is it. All done. Leave a comment. What y'all think? I know y'all know feel that I did better than I normally do when I'm pressing out my hair. I've never came online to show you guys me um press I'm oh, cutting it, but I'll show you how much hair I cut. This is all get. That's all I cut. This is all I cut for my hair. That's it. It's not a lot at all. Not a lot at all. But yeah. How it looks. Oh, was I in the camera? I hope I was in the camera. It's 
sideways. Sideways. And ponytail. Big nose. <laughs> so, yeah. So, I don't plan on trimming my hair. I, You know what? I trimmed my hair once this year. Only once. Um, once last year. You guys will see that. Or twice last year. You guys will see that in a video. So, again, I still have my ponytail. Ponytail ain't going nowhere. Still have my ponytail. Look at that ponytail. Alright, subscribe to my YouTube channel, click on that bell icon so you can get notifications the next time I go live on YouTube or, yeah, YouTube here. <laughs> Alright, so I'm about to sweep up this hair and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Share this video, give it a thumbs up. Peace out.